Titans facing serious legal troubles. Donald Trump will be campaigning from the criminal court where his trial is expected to get underway in two weeks. Yeah, and Homeland Security agents raided the Miami and Los Angeles homes of Sean P. Diddy Combs as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. So joining us this morning to weigh in on these high profile cases is attorney J.C. Polanco. So thank you so much, Stacey, for being with us. Thank you so much. My condolences, Officer Diller's family. <sighs> yes, yes. Tragic. It's been My a very goodness. tough morning uh, here this morning. But but moving on to this, this P. Diddy situation here. When his homes were raided, do you know if he was even there? No. Uh, you know, according to, to the reports, he wasn't there, but his kids were. Mm. Uh, and that's who we ultimately get to see. We didn't get to see P. Diddy until another network um, had video of him in the Miami airport. There was some confusion throughout the evening of whether or not he was in Antigua or was he in the United States. It turns out there was a plane that he owns or his company does that travels from Los Angeles to Antigua just a few hours before the raid. Mm -hmm. Now, this is news everywhere. You could imagine. I mean, this guy is a huge mogul. Um, he's is so not only popular worldwide, but he's a part of the fabric of a lot of us who grew up here in New York City. Yeah. So, you know, reading and watching this video of one of his mansions being raided by the Department of Homeland Security in Florida and then the other mansion being raided in Los Angeles, you know, judges don't sign those types of warrants for just nothing. You have to show that you have probable cause that there was a crime committed and then to make things more complicated for P. Diddy, what were they? Oh, to make things more complicated, the Department of Homeland Security comes out and says, hey, we are looking into these crimes. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer speculation. You know, he's a target. There's no question about it. Now, there's obviously two courts. There's a court of law, yeah. and then there's a court of public opinion. And Pete Diddy and everyone around him is entitled to the presumption of innocence like everyone else. Mm -hmm. But here, you know, every mere tweet is introduced well, as, yeah. as evidence in the court of public opinion and, quite frankly, does not look good mm. for well, Diddy. What's interesting here is that this was actually an investigation that started in New York, right? Southern District of New York is leading the investigation for something that's taking place in Los Angeles, because he does have property here in New York, but they, they weren't searched. So what were they looking for? Well, according to the Department of Homeland Security, there is discussion about some trafficking going on. Mm. And if you recall, these allegations were brought about through the grapevines of civil filings in court. And we yeah. saw that with one of his um, uh, ex-girlfriends, if you will, uh, Cassie Ventura, who settled out of court, obviously. But we started reading about some of the allegations then. And we, then that spiraled out of control. And now what was once a snowball, it turned out into a major avalanche of information. Now there's more people suing. There's more information coming out. And now the Department of Homeland Security says there's something there. Yeah. So it's going to get really dicey in the next few months for, for Diddy. Well, you mentioned that you saw the sons that were there, yep. and they were handcuffed. Any idea what that was about? I mean, could they be, are they involved? Or? Well, listen, again, you have to remember, these are hardworking people at the Department of Homeland Security who got, uh, who got a judge to sign off on these things. And then for you to go under arrest, there has to be more than just probable cause to arrest mm -hmm. the sons of Diddy, especially with such a popular figure. Uh, in these mansions, and, it's, and it required so many officers. If you take a look at the video, because the, the, the property is so large, and they were just taking out so many boxes. Yeah. So it was intense. The idea that his kids were arrested is not a good look, as my mm. students would say. And just to all. be clear, he wasn't on that plane? No, he, according to the Department of Homeland Security and the reports yeah. that we get, he was in Miami. There was another plane right, okay. in Antigua. I see. That's where I was looking at all of social media. People were saying, oh, they went to Antigua because there's no extradition policy there. And it was, you know, the. Yeah, but, that, but you know what's media. crazy? It's like we can't go through just what we see anymore or what we think we hear. Now there's actual video footage. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it gets really, really interesting. There was a time where we could discuss, oh, maybe not. But that's, you can't believe everything you read. JC, let's move on to the other big story, and that's Donald Trump. Two court proceedings in Manhattan. Yesterday, the appeals court actually lowered that bond, right? Because he said he couldn't make the bond, so now we, they yeah. lower it. Why? Well, I, you know, they did not make a reason why. They did not write in, this is why we decided to do this. Well, one can surmise that they probably asked themselves, where is this guy going? Mm -hmm. We have all the properties here. We want him to make sure that he puts something up. When this was filed, he showed that he did not have the cash on hand. Mm -hmm. But I got to tell you, I grew up here when the Teflon Don was John Gotti. Mm -hmm. There's a whole new Teflon Don. And his name is Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, could you imagine that the, the, the week you tell the courts, I do not have the cash to put up this bond that Attorney General James wants, you get to merge your social media empire and now go back on the Forbes 500 list and are worth more than $4 billion overnight. On what planet does this happen? They, they bring you up on charges regarding a potential election interference in Georgia. The district attorney gets caught up in a scandal with her paramour and whether or not she, why she appointed him as a chief prosecutor in a case. 
you have your Florida case where we're not looking at why you had secret, top secret files in the bathroom and making people hide it when you know they're looking for, when the federal government is looking for it. And it just so happens that you get your own appointed federal district judge to oversee mm -hmm. your case. It's just back to back, back to, to back. back. And then you have in Manhattan just yesterday, um, you know, the, the, the judge in the Manhattan case regarding Stormy Daniels. Now that hush money case is now delayed because all of a sudden the Southern District has some information they didn't disclose to the defense. It's like everything lines up for this guy. There's a new Teflon Don. John Gotti's out. It's Don Tr Donald Trump. Yeah, but that criminal case, he, they, they did not, they were not able to delay the, the trial. No, they, they're going to start April 15th, yeah. ju jury selection. But right now the, there is a delay because now the defense has every right to go through all of the documents. Just New York law requires you as a defense, as a defendant, for your defense attorneys to have access to all of the files. Um, and it turns out that there were some testimonies, some statements, some documents that were in the possession of another court's jurisdiction that were not disclosed timely. So everything is falling in line for this guy. But do you think this is even going to impact him as he campaigns? Well, it depends. I don't think at all that the Stormy Daniels hush money case is going to impact one vote. You know, Donald Trump walks into November with 40% of the country supporting him no matter what. This election is going to be decided in about four states. Yes, but the only thing that changes all of it if there is a criminal conviction, because some folks had said if there's a conviction, they may change their mind. Then, yes, but that conviction, if you look at the polls, it's always regarding the top secret documents that he, that he took and never returned and the election interference. Mm -hmm. The case here regarding the hush money to the porn star is not the case that's ringing alarms throughout mm -hmm. the world of independents across the country that are not going to vote for him. As a matter of fact, a lot of folks are asking, why was this case even brought up, mm. considering that there's prosecutorial discretion? Well, the reason why it was brought up, because other people had to go to prison for exactly the same, mm -hmm. <laughs> for the same crime. So yeah. I know that the district attorney here, District Attorney Bragg, is, in a, is caught between a rock and a hard place, because it's the, it's the weakest of the cases, but he had to bring it up because there were other people yep. that had gone to prison for exactly the same thing. All right, JC, we got to leave it there. There's a lot to talk about. I appreciate you being in. Thank you so much always. for having me. Great to see you.